So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We are camping tonight here at Blue Knob State Park here in the western part of the state. I believe we're in Bedford County. I just, I just got done filming a video on the Johnstown flood, which was pretty cool, but I wanted to do that for a while. But now, now it's the time to switch gears and do some camping. Actually looking forward to this. Going to try a few new things. Try a new recipe tonight. I got one of those, what do you call it? A pie iron, I think they call them. I'm going to try making a tuna melt sandwich tonight over the campfire. They got a camp ring back there. So anyway, it should be pretty, might get pretty chilly tonight. Today is, this is September 10th. Or actually, Blue Knob is pretty high in altitude, at least for Pennsylvania. Actually, the second highest point in Pennsylvania is here at Blue Knob State Park. So it might get a bit chilly tonight, but better than being hot. All right, I got to quit yapping. I got to get my campsite set up and uh, get that fire going. All right, so here is home for the night. Put my tent down here in the grass. I don't really need it up. There's a lot of room here, actually, at this campsite. This is campsite number four. You could, I mean, you could put, I don't know how many people allow here, but you could put a number of tents up here. Yeah, a lot quieter than the last campsite we were at back in July, Cape Henlopen. But speaking of Cape Henlopen, down in Delaware, we have beach sand. In Delaware, Cape Henlopen State Park. <laughs> All right, and also I'm gonna leave the uh, the rain fly off tonight because you know, it's got the screen in. I did that down at Smallwood State Park, and I loved it. Of course, I don't think there's any chance of rain tonight, so we're gonna leave it off. I loved sleeping like under. You get that real feeling of sleeping under the trees. So I mean, I'll have the flame, the fly tarp near the rain fly nearby, just in case. I need to put it on quick. All right, so let's get this fire going. Cause I'm using some of these zip fire starters again. Plus I also have that, that box of uh, fire starter sticks that someone sent me. So I both those down here. So just like that, we got a fire going. So we're gonna let that heat up, get some hot ashes in there, and then we'll get our tuna melt ready to put on there. I am hungry. All right, yeah, so here's one of those pie irons. They probably get called different things depending on where you're at. So it opens up nicely. Of course, we're gonna spray the inside of this with some Pam olive oil so the bread doesn't stick. And we got some marbled rye bread. I might have to uh, trim this down to make it fit in there. Then we got cheese. So I'm gonna put the the bread on. Oops. Some cheese. Then we got some some tuna salad. And we're gonna squeeze out on top, and then we're gonna repeat the process. Put another piece of cheese and bread on top. Have a hot cheesy tuna melt. We'll see how this turns out. And when I try it, I'm not going to lie to you and pretend I like it, but if I don't like it, I'll let you know. But let's, I'm anxious to see how this turns out. Fire's going good, so I'm going to get this ready soon. I'm going to maybe put a few more things in the fire and then we'll assemble this, cook it up, and eat it.
the neighbors are rolling in. <laughs> Get the tuna. I'm not sure if all the tuna from the packet will fit in here, but it might be good enough there. Yeah. Let's see the rest. We can make another sandwich with the rest of it. All right, then we just gotta. All right, there we go. Let's put it on wrong. Close it down, hold it shut, and it's ready to go with the fire. Yum yum, we'll see. Well, we'll see if it's yum yum. Hopefully it is, let me trim some of those things off. All right. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. I forgot a place, we'll just put it in this little thing here. Got a little toasty on one side, but I wanted the cheese to melt. Let's see if it flops out nicely. Oh. Kind of. There it goes. Mmm. Look at that. Still pretty hot. You let that cool off just a little bit and then we'll try it. I think while I'm letting it cool off, we'll make some coffee. A little bit of burnt stuff. The little stove going. All right, this is cooling off. We'll try this in a bit. Hazelnut creamer. And as always, we'll put two in. Hazelnut feels more like uh, autumn, so we'll use this creamer. All right, so we got some good hazelnut coffee. Mm, time to, time for the truth. See what this tastes like. If it's good, we'll make another one. It's kind of like a grilled cheese with tuna. Hmm. You know, that's not bad. That's actually really good. I'm not, remember, I told you I wasn't going to lie to you. That's actually, it's probably better than I was expecting. That's really good. Because I'm also, I'm also really hungry. But yeah. Definitely making another one. I got stuff all over my mouth. Yeah. Hmm. So I, could, I can make like I got enough to make like four of these tonight if I want. I'll probably just make one more. All 
All right, round two. Delicious tuna melt sandwiches. All right, so round two, it's still sizzling. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Let that cool off just a bit. Yeah, so here's round two. Mmm. Like I said, that is good. I mean, if you like grilled cheese and tuna, of course, this is that marbled rye bread, too. I think that helps. I mean, you could try it at home, too. But, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I made a mistake earlier and said that the last place we had camped before this was Cape Henlopen. Actually, it was a uh, World's End State Park at the end of July. We did Cape Henlopen in, in the beginning of July, so there's still sand in there from several camping trips ago. Yeah, I just remembered that. All right, and as I usually do on these camping trips, I'm gonna spend some time this evening and clear out my SD card, get the laptop out. I always like to clear out the footage from today so everything's empty for tomorrow on the camera. Might make another cup of coffee. I don't think I brought dessert though. <laughs> Actually, I do have dessert. I have some of those chocolate peanut butter biscuits and uh, some chocolate covered granola bars. So I think we will make another cup of coffee later. Then we'll sit by the fire. We got plenty of firewood. It's only $5 a bundle here. Maybe do a little reading. Whew. All right, so another cup of hot coffee. Yeah, these are good. These biscuit things, peanut butter, chocolate. Good, good with, great with honey. I mean, with honey, with coffee. Yeah. And it's definitely, it's definitely cooling down. Seven o'clock, it's probably down in the 50s already. It did get too cool. I did bring on, I did bring along some, uh, like some long underwear type stuff. It's keep me warmer at night. I love these cooler nights, though. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of a dessert, and then we'll go read by the campfire, I think, a little bit. Just relax the evening before we go to bed. Yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Calm, peaceful. All right. Yeah, we got the last rays of the sun shining through the trees there. Beautiful little scene there. Just a view of the rest of the campground. A number of other people got fires going off. You can see them down the woods down there. Yeah, and things are starting to quiet down here in the camp. Getting dark as you can tell. It is definitely gonna be chilly tonight. It's already chilly. I'm sitting pretty close to the fire, but Earlier was a little bit further back for they were starting to kind of shiver a little bit. So we might be putting on that long underwear. But we'll sleep good though. Yeah, we got the moon shining up there. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera. It might be kind of blurry which is like a quarter moon tonight. Yeah, beautiful evening. You can kind of see my campfire up there just a little bit, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna be heading in here in a moment. It's about 8.30, but I'll be able to see that moonlight is gonna be shining in my tent tonight. 
That'll be cool. Alright, so I'm gonna say goodnight here in a moment or two. Yeah, just chilling by the last dying embers of my fire. Alright, so I'll see I'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Ah, uh, well good morning to you. This is the view from inside the tent this morning. I'm awake. Not out of bed yet. Just kind of snuggled up in my sleeping bag. <sighs> About 7 o'clock. But I can hear other people at the campground getting up, so... We'll, we'll eventually zipper that door open to get up. <laughs> Chilly morning. and date and walnut oatmeal. stuff. And here is our map of Pennsylvania. Because we're all the way, all the way over here. Well, not far western PA, but here at Blue Knob State Park. And yesterday we just filmed, we filmed over in Johnstown, we filmed the Johnstown, the Johnstown flood. I gotta wake my mouth up. So, today's plans, there are three high points here, county high points. The high point for Bedford County is right here in Blue Knob State, Blue Knob State Park. Um, the high point for Cambria County is just across the way. 
and we'll see if we can get to the high point of Blair County, which is just up here. So maybe we'll get to those three places. I think on the way home, I might try to stop here at Warrior's Path State Park, too. We'll see. Yeah, and here's a map of Blue Knob State Park. Down here is the town of Pavia. Of course, the office is here. We are camped all the way up here in the family campground. Right here is the high point, Bedford County, Blue Knob, so we could we should be able to drive right up to that one. And the high point for Cambria County is just, here's Cambria County, it's just over here. Blair County is probably up here somewhere. And I'm going to try and film another thing here, the lost children of the Alleghenies. Let's see if we can get to that today. Alright. So that is the plan for today's filming. Quite a few places, but everything's pretty right in this area. I don't have to drive like several hours to get to each location, so we'll see. Only one I'm like, not terribly sure about is Blair County, that high point. Schaefer hit. I'm not sure about uh, some potential access issues to get there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll get done what we get done. So I did. I slept pretty well last night. The one, the one group of neighbors were a bit noisy <laughs> last night, but you know they were having fun, so. I think some friends so they're stopped in for a while and visited with them. Yeah, and if you're wondering like well it's a plane flying overhead. Yeah, I just you know I had the, the tent kind of exposed just to screen. It doesn't it didn't get damp in there. Yeah, just letting that plane fly past. Yeah, it didn't get it didn't get damp in the tent. Because I I tried this at Smallwood State Park too where I didn't have the rain fly on. Of course we are in some trees too, so it doesn't necessarily get like all condensation y in the tent. It's kind of like that feel of having it kind of open to the sky. All right, well, I am going to start to start tearing things down. Only thing, the zipper on the tent got a little bit messed up last night. I drank two cups of coffee last night, so I had to get up several times to take care of business. Not sure if I messed things up the one time, but you know how the, the zipper is supposed to stay shut, but stay shut, but the one section kind of came open on its own, and now it can't quite. Anyway, has issues zipping. We'll work on that. All right, well, like I said, I'm gonna start packing up. Get this day going. Well, here's a look at the campground this morning. There's Naomi. She slept well last night, too. Got the tent there. Actually, that, that zipper thing actually fixed really well. Just gave it one good tug. There's actually some color, some autumn color on those trees already. Here in early September. A lot of people. Pretty quiet this morning, though. Yeah, so I forgot to film the end of that video, or the outro, as we call it here on YouTube. I, I had so many things planned for that day, my mind was just running all over the place, I forgot to. I, I think I, I think the last clip is me, like, packing up the tent, but yeah. Anyway, beautiful place to camp, Blue Knob State Park, I highly, highly recommend it. Gets an A from me, gets an A from me, as far as state parks go. I didn't really hike any of the trails there, but it was a nice campsite there. So yeah, if you're thinking about heading out that way, oh yeah, and the high point of Bedford County was there in Blue Knob. That was that was amazing up there. But anyway, that's for the next video. So anyway, as always, thanks for coming along and uh, hope to see you around.